You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. How was it? Did you dream of me? Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits, and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. I know you've many questions, so please, compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. Seems the older I get, the harder it is to fall asleep. Aw, suspicious. Could it really just be a coincidence? Uh, I've got a funny feeling about that lady. But she did find and save him too. The least we could do is listen to the other party's request. That memo keeper obviously came here with an agenda. We should remain vigilant. Look, Miss Himiko. I brought the kid back as promised. Uh, you're all right! We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, Memo Keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Uh, not exactly. Miss Himeko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. <laughs> not quite yet. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other. A little bit better. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? So, the one who attacked you was... a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry. She won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It seems you know her well. Of course. I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying. But the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations. But that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Penacony... itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone he fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic. Dangerous. Enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Through a mirror, 
I came to a long hallway. The Gallery of Thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Panacone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what he just experienced, and the answer is clear. Panacone's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form, and falling into the deep sea. Sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the Dreamscape Hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would, it would tarnish the name of the Planet of Festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that he encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm, let me rephrase then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, Nameless of the Astral Express, and practitioners of the Trailblaze. I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I understand, but before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Naturally. Take your time. How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes... Then it likely has something to do with the Watchmaker's invite. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Well, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family which narrows it down to two possibilities. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. 
But from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the Trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. It's bad news. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. Ahem. Can you hear me? Astral Express, it's been a while. How's Penicone? It's... it's that hacker girl! I'll get straight to the point. I know you've been investigating the abnormal phenomenon surrounding Penicone. Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that. Because the deeper you go, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about the so-called beautiful dream. The family is obviously hiding something, right? Well, we've nabbed some valuable information and out of the goodness of my heart, I've decided to share it with all of you. Although it unfortunately means your idyllic break in paradise is nearing its end. Enter this string of code into your dream pool, the device you use to dream with, and dive into the hidden map for a look. The coordinates have been sent to you. You just have to copy them over. Also, I take it you've already heard about Sam. <laughs> you should look forward to the meeting. He's a straight shooter who values a fair fight. <laughs> I think you'll get along with him just fine. Don't be overwhelmed by his enthusiasm. Oh, he had me relay a message to you. Ahem. The curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. <laughs> the various factions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind, nameless. Those Stellaron hunters! They even factored Penicone into their plan. Nowhere safe from them. The situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. This message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a visit seems necessary. We may be on amicable terms, but that doesn't mean they trust us. Let's act first and talk later. If the family asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. 
We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. It's no problem, of course, other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. We're counting on you, Welt. As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Firefly has returned to reality yet. Hmm, I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. Why isn't there a sugar-free soul glad option? You look anxious. Worried about that girl? You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. I just did what I had to do. You are special, after all. So special that many pairs of eyes are watching your every move. Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which isn't possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. It appears you've had some unhappy memories. But it's obvious that this partnership makes the most sense to you, me, and the Express crew, no? So you can take it easy and trust me. Of course, I'm not the only memo keeper who has come. Penacone has opened its doors to factions beyond the family for the first time. And the garden must record this historic moment. So you can try working together with others as well, as long as you can see them. <laughs> No, I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Memo keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. All right, drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. <laughs> <laughs> 